Good day, everyone. Your Sir Dexter is back for our next lesson. So again, welcome back to my channel. So, ang pag-aralan naman natin ngayon sa lesson number 5 natin ay tungkol sa on behalf and in behalf. Have you ever tried using this two words when you are uh, speaking or when you are talking to someone about something? Kadalasan na pagkikinggan natin ang uh, salitang ito sa mga meetings or uh, sa mga programs like uh, when someone says on behalf of or in behalf of pero the question is appropriate kaya or is it appropriate with the situation the speaker is trying to convey so yun yung pag-aaralan natin sa lesson na ito dahil inaamin ko ako mismo uh, hindi rin perfect ang paggamit ko ng in behalf and on behalf pero ngayong alam ko na of course ayoko nang maulit yon and then sa pagbabasa rin minsan nakatutulong talaga ang pagbabasa sa pagtuklas ng bagong kaalaman di ba so ini-encourage ko kayong lahat na read and read so eto na guys dumako diba na tayo sa ating grammar lesson number Five. But before that, of course, wag kalimutang. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. To start with, guys, let's have this warm-up question. Blank of the typhoon's victims, the president distributes relief goods. So what do you think is the answer? Is it in behalf or on behalf? Well, mamaya, titignan natin kung tama ang sagot ninyo. So, let's have now the in behalf or on behalf. Simply, the in behalf class means for the benefit of or for the advantage of or in the interest of. So, it's like we are doing something, you are doing something, I am doing something for the benefit of someone, for the benefit of somebody, or for the advantage or interest of somebody. So, ibig sabihin, ginagamit or gagamitin natin ang expression na in behalf if the idea of our statement is helping others or there is someone that has been given help or benefit. Ang clue natin dito, class, is the word help or helping others. You are only going to use in behalf if the idea of your statement is that meron kang natutulungan or merong mabibigyan ng benepisyo. So, ganun yun, kasimple class. Let's have an example. The foundation raised more than 100,000 pesos in behalf of the victims of the typhoon. So, why did we use in behalf here, class? It's because the foundation is trying to help the victims of the typhoon by raising more than 100,000 pesos. So, ginagawa nila yung pag -re raise ng money for the benefit of the victims of the typhoon. Next, the school started their feeding program in behalf of those learners who are undernourished. Why is the school having a feeding program class? Well, that is for the benefit of the learners who are undernourished. And therefore, we use in behalf. What about for on behalf class? Well, the expression on behalf is used when we mean in place of or as the agent of. In this situation, we are representing someone. From the word in place of, di ba? Sa anong sitwasyon ba tayo nagre-represent ng someone? Maybe in a situation wherein that someone is unable to come or that someone is sick and he cannot manage and more. Examples. On behalf of my wife, I want to say thank you for supporting her. So, why did we use on behalf their class? Meron bang express na may tinutulungan doon sa sentence? Wala, di ba? So, meaning the idea of the sentence is that the husband is saying thank you in place of his wife. Siguro wala yung asawa niya. Kaya siya yung nagsasalita para sa kanyang asawa. Another example. The girl has power of attorney. So, she can sign the documents on behalf of her mom. So, in this situation class, maaaring nandun yung mama niya, pero she cannot sign the document. So, siya yung magre-represent sa kanyang mom. 
or maybe wala yung mother niya, so she will be signing the documents in place of her mom. Anyway, meron naman siyang power of attorney that will make her legally sign the documents. So yun na nga, nakukuha na ba natin ang pagkakaiba ng in behalf and on behalf? Balikan natin yung warm-up question natin kanina. Blank of the typhoon's victims, the president distributes relief goods. So what is the answer here, class? Is it in behalf or on behalf? So the idea is very clear. That the president is distributing relief goods for the victims of the typhoon. So the answer is in behalf. Kung meron tayong warm up, meron din tayong cooling down statements. Number three agad tayo. The foundation is raising funds in behalf of the needy. We use in behalf because the foundation is trying to help the needy by raising funds. Next. Our teacher speaks on behalf of her class. In this situation class, the teacher is representing her class. So she speaks in place of her class. The principal purchases school supplies in behalf of the learners who can't afford to buy. In here, the principal is trying to help the learners who cannot afford to buy school supplies. So the action of the principal is for the benefit of the learners. That is why we use in behalf. So, yun na po yun guys. Dito na po nagtatapos ang ating lesson number 5. At sana, naintindihan ninyo ang uh, simpleng explanations ko for that in behalf and on behalf. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Good day and till my next video.